I had high expectations for this movie, and yet it still blew me away. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about Priscilla, and oh my god, Priscilla. It was incredible. I'm just like, I just, I love movies that just feel so raw and authentic and grounded and that is Sofia Coppola's Priscilla. It's substance over style entirely, while Elvis was the opposite with style over substance entirely. And style can only get you so far. This film that Coppola creates is just, it's masterful from the way it's paced to the way it's edited to the way it's framed and shot is just, it works perfectly for the film and for the script and for the performances. Elvis is larger than life in this movie, you know, and you feel that, but you also get that behind the curtain feeling of Elvis and who he is and just he starts in that larger than life way but as the film goes on it devolves and just slowly shifts the paradigm of Elvis and Priscilla until they become equal. I've heard some people say it's boring but I found it incredibly incredibly entertaining. I felt what Priscilla felt. I feel like you really really just felt that smallness because that is what she was in Elvis's world. She was small. Look at the Elvis movie. She's small in that. I would love to see some sort of cut where you take Elvis and Priscilla, like both of the movies, and you cut them together into this sort of mega movie that combines the two. Just because, like, even though their styles are incredibly, incredibly different, I think just where they interconnect with each other is really interesting. And there are certain directions that I kind of wish that this movie could have gone in a bit more, but I don't care. It ended and I was just like, wow, that's it? You know, because you're so used to these types of movies just feeling like a drag, but this one, partially because it didn't include those things where I'm like, oh, I kind of wish it included that, it was able to be less than two hours. Like Priscilla is under two hours in a year where the biggest movies like Killers of the Flower Moon and Oppenheimer are three hours plus, you know? So for that to be the case is really great. And I just, I hope more people go to see this film. I hope it sticks around for this month of November because it's, it's a really good one. This is also my first Sofia Coppola movie. So just gotta say like Priscilla, it's my first one with her and I need to watch more of her films because she's fantastic. The direction in this film it's just it's so controlled and it's, you know that saying silent but deadly? That's kind of how the direction is because it's not like this big flashy thing. It's just really subtle, but it's there and it has such an impact. I give this movie four and a half stars. You should watch it. And if you want to hear me talk more about this film, you can check out my podcast, Popcorn Premieres. The episode for Priscilla is coming out on Friday, but we have our newest episode about Five Nights at Freddy's out right now, which you can check out in the description below. And while you're down there, you could subscribe and like the video as well. And yeah, not a lot of you are subscribed, so if you've been watching a few of these reviews, you might as well. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.